The house behind me has been on fire and these are typically the worst ones that go in and explore. Falling apart, the ceiling is coming off. <coughs> that was probably the wrong thing to do. That <coughs> just hit that door. Okay. I'm standing in something really slimy. You've got a number of factors. A, you never know what walls or floors are about to collapse at any given time. And when I was telling you, you got to be careful on the floor. Squishy parts like this take you all the way down. B, the smell is a combination of soot and mold. <coughs> oh my god, it smells like the outhouse at a kids concert. When they put the fire out, what usually happens is the house doesn't get a chance to dry and it becomes a habitat for mold. It becomes also a natural habitat for animals. Oh, uh, what is this? Is this a nest? Yep. Yep. <coughs> Something's dead. <coughs> Something died. Of all the homes you get into, the smell in these usually stays with you the longest because it just gets into every every crevice of your body. How bad is the mold in a place like this? This is this is pure mold. That's pure oh gross. This is pure mold in every corner of this home. All right, let's go to the next part of the house. I'll walk with my head down. Let's go in this back room. This door, it's just covered in mold. It's everywhere in this house. Every wall, every... Oh, what do they got going on in here now? Uh, down this hall is the room where the smell was coming from. It was on the other side of this wall. Oh, look at this room. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh, now I get it. That's why it reeks so bad. Oh boy. Get the ceilings coming down. There's no air. There's no air in here. You can just see where everything is just falling apart. The ceiling is coming off. <coughs> that was probably the wrong thing to, <coughs> to do. <coughs> I just hit that toilet. Okay, if I had initially walked into this room, boom, I would have lost it. But look at what we've got. Look at the conditions we've got going on in here. You can't really tell by looking at it. But this is a bathtub. This is, I'm standing in something really slimy. Believe it or not, this is the shower. This is where people used to, they used to clean up in here. Now, how mold is just taking everything. The smell of the toilet just hit me. <coughs> it's not the bathtub. It's the toilet right there. I think it's on to the next room. Here's something kind of interesting. Steel beams running through this house. Those get saved. Well, we mentioned that this house was on fire. One of the most important things you can do when you're going through a house like this is to look at the condition of the joists because when you get up to the upper floors, you never know where the joists might be almost completely burned through and then all it takes is your weight to send it all crashing down on top of you. I've taken that ride once or twice in my life and it's not fun. So a good place to start is at the ground and work your way up and keep looking up as you go. All right, this time we started in the basement. Let's work our way upstairs. Let's see what we've got going on. This is where you want to be extra careful. You just never know what the condition of the floors are going to be like. 
see everything is charred. You know, you can tell a lot of this house was just damaged by smoke, but the water from putting the fire out does as much damage to the house as the fire does. And you can look and you can see where all this sheetrock has fallen down. This didn't happen from the fire. This happened when they put the fire out. All right, the garage wasn't on fire, so let's go check it out. Maybe it won't smell so bad. Smells like the outhouse at a kids concert. I just wasn't ready for it. I just came out of that smoky house and I started to get used to that and I opened up these doors and the smell of stale urine just boom hit me in the face. It looks like the squirrels have been nesting in this place probably for months and using it as their personal urinal and I just walked into it. I kind of feel like a human toilet cake. <coughs> Oh, <laughs> my